Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is switching characteristics of SCR. This is the topic from the subject power devices and circuits that is PDC for third year ENTC students. The expected question is draw dynamic characteristics of SCR and explain turn on and turn off process or draw and explain switching characteristics of SCR. In case of both these questions, we need to draw the proper graph of turn on and turn off process of an SCR which is known as switching characteristics. Let me brush up the things what we have studied earlier. SCR is silicon controlled rectifier. It has four layers P, N, P, N. There are four layers and accordingly there are three junctions J1, J2, J3. As shown in this diagram, junction J1 is because of P, N region. J2 is due to NP region and junction J3 is between P and N region. There are three terminals, anode terminal denoted by A, cathode terminal by K and the gate terminal. We need to apply certain amount of gate current and accordingly the turning on and turning off of this device is controlled. This is the symbol of SCR, same logic, anode, cathode and this is the gate terminal. We have studied these characteristics. This is the most important characteristics. Let me brush up these things. Consider the curve 0 to M. This is the forward characteristics of SCR. But this is known as forward blocking mode. Why? Because from 0 to M, this point is M. From 0 to M, SCR is on. But it has not yet started conducting. There are some typical values. VBO, that is forward breakover voltage. IBO forward breakover current. Let us say these values are at point M. So at this value, the point M gets shifted to point N and the graph is like this. This particular thing, after having a particular value of VBO that is breakover voltage and breakover current, this particular graph indicates the conduction mode. That means from M, sorry, from N onwards, the conduction of SCR starts. So this is known as the conduction mode of SCR. Actually, this is the graph of IA that is anode current versus VA that is anode voltage. In this region, this is the reverse characteristics of SCR. VBR is the typical value of reverse uh, breakdown voltage. After a particular value VBR, there is avalanche breakdown. So suddenly the graph becomes like this, like a straight line. So this is the uh, characteristics of current versus voltage in case of silicon control rectifier. Now let us discuss the dynamic characteristics of SCR. Dear students, actually there are so many diagrams in this subject, but you uh, you cannot uh, mug up us all such diagrams. You need to remember it logically. This is the diagram for turn on process of SCR. What is the meaning of turn on? Turning on of SCR means you need to apply certain gate pulse at the gate terminal. I have shown this uh, diagram. Here this A stands for anode. This is anode terminal. K stands for cathode terminal which we have already discussed and this is the gate terminal of SCR. There are four uh, regions which we have already discussed. Now, you need to apply a certain pulse at the gate terminal Due to application of this pulse, turning on of SCR takes place. Means what? The SCR changes its state from forward blocking to the conduction mode. In the previous diagram, it changes state from point M to point N. Now, you need to apply certain gate current, I mean certain gate pulse at the gate terminal of SCR. This is the diagram of VG versus time. VG is the gate voltage. So this is the gate pulse which we need to apply at the gate terminal. You might be thinking this, this is a complicated diagram. It is not at all. As I said, you just have to remember such diagrams logically. So this is simple pulse like a unit step signal and it is a gate pulse which is to be applied to the gate terminal of SCR. Next is the diagram of VA and IG. VA is the anode voltage, IG is the gate current. Remember it like this. VA that is anode voltage is constant up to certain time period up to this point and after that it decreases like this. 
on the contrary the gate current ig is approaching in the reverse way it starts increasing and then it remains constant in case of va first it is constant and then it start decreasing in case of ig initially the current starts building up so current starts from zero it will start building up it will start increasing exponentially and after certain time period it attains a final value ig one more thing in every graph you need to mark two points one is 10% point point and 90% point. point what are these points 10% means point 0.1 of the reading and 90% is point 0.9 value of the reading of the final reading so as I mentioned this is the graph of VA this graph I am talking about this is the graph of VA initially it is remaining constant after that it, it decreases this reading this is the final value of VA anode voltage this is point not VA so I have marked the value of point not VA similarly I have marked the value of point 0.1 VA as I said for every reading you need to mark point 0.1 value and point 0.9 value that is 90% of VA and point 10% uh, of VA same way in case of gate current also this is the gate current starting from zero just to avoid the complexity I haven't written point 0.1 IG anywhere it, it was not required so it will start it is starting increasing from zero this value I have marked it as IG this is the final value of IG so 90% of this final value is 0.9 IG now the gate pulse is applied to P region actually this distribution of the gate current is non-uniform in the answer you should mention this word due to p layer the distribution of a gate current gate current is supposed to flow from gate to the cathode terminal this distribution is non-uniform as the current starts flowing from gate to the cathode terminal the amount goes on decreasing okay coming back to this diagram so i have marked 10 percent and 90 percent values this graph is the graph of IA. IA is the anode current versus time. So again same values. This graph is again uh, remaining constant then increases exponentially and again finally remains constant. So I have marked 0.1 IA value and 0.9 IA value. This is the final value of IA. So 0.9 is 90% of final value. 0.1 is 10% uh, of final value of the IA. Now, I have marked some typical readings like TD, TR and TS. So what is this? First, you need to memorize, you need to, you should be in a position to draw this diagram. As I mentioned, this is simple. I mean, you just have to remember it logically. These definitions are prime important. So first, what is the meaning of turning on of SCR? The transition from forward off state to on state is SCR turn on time in simple language what i said initially the scr will be in forward blocking mode after that after applying a particular amount of gate pulse the forward blocking mode changes to forward conduction mode so this particular time period is known as turn on a time that's what we have written in another language forward off state means blocking state to the on state that is conduction state this time period is known as turn on time now there are different parameters first is td td is called as delay time so td represents delay time it is the value or amount of time period when gate current reaches 90 percent of ig to 10 percent of ia don't get confused it is 90% of IG refer the diagram 90% of IG means point not point 0.9 IG this point I am talking about so I have taken this point up to the downward axis and up to 10% of IA 10% means point 0.1 point 0.1 IA is this point so the time difference between these two points is known as a delay time very simple if you mark these values in the diagram you can write in your own wordings it is the time period when the uh, gate current changes from 90 percent of its final value to the 10 percent of anode current 10 percent of anode current this is not gate current so this time is known as the delay time next is the rise time it's simple 
टाइम टेकन बाय आई ए आई ए इज द एनोड करंट दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ एनोड करंट टाइम टेकन बाय आई ए टू राइज फ्रॉम टेन परसेंट टू नाइनटी परसेंट वैल्यू सो दिस इज द टेन परसेंट ऑफ आई ए दिस पॉइंट इज नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ आई ए दैट इज पॉइंट नॉट आई ए दिस दिस टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन दिस टू पॉइंट इज नोन एज टी आर दैट इज द राइज टाइम third definition is again simple time taken by ia to rise from 90% of ia to ia that is final ia to make the simple write it like this final ia that is 100% ia so this is point not ia and this is the final value of ia so this time period in which the current ia that is anode current reaches from 90% of ia to final 100% of ia is known as ts ts is the settling time tr is the rise time td is the delay time now the total time period that is addition of all these time periods is known as turn on time period of an scr which is td plus tr plus ts one more important thing if you observe the graph of va uh, that is anode voltage and graph of ia that is anode current basically power loss is related to we know the basic equation of power p is equals to v into i so in this case it is va into ia that is anode voltage into anode current so during the rise time in this range the value of ia and va are uh, usually larger than uh, compared to the other region so in in tr both the values of va and ia are large so power loss in rise time in the period of rise time is more compared to the other region so this is the turn on characteristics of scr the next part is turn off characteristics of scr the definition is simple what we learned in turn on case in case of turn on the scr or thyristor changes from forward blocking mode to forward conduction mode think it reverse way if you want to switch off scr what do we need to do you need to change the mode of operation from conduction mode to the forward blocking mode so that's what i have written the definition is time difference between on to off state on state to off state that means to attain forward blocking mode is known as turn off time the characteristics is simple compared to the earlier diagram this is the graph of va that is node voltage versus time so this is the typical curve actually this this gap uh, compared to the origin is known as on state voltage drop now before uh, discussing this diagram i will tell you simplest uh, technique turning off of of the scr means what there should be removal of excess carriers from all the layers that means there is there should be removal of whole p and n type of charges from the corresponding layers so this is known as the turning off of the scr so i have shown two uh, timing intervals that is trr it is known as reverse recovery time Re recovery means removing of excess carriers and tgr get recovery time so this is the typical characteristics i have marked few instances t1 t2 t3 and t4 as i said these are the typical characteristics or, or typical time period which is required to remove excess charges uh, from all the layers all the layers means n and p layers and there are four layers that's what we discussed earlier so combination of these two is known as t off that is the turn off time period the last part of this session is necessary conditions for a scr as a switch the question is straight forward it is expected for four marks usually so question will be like this uh, what are the necessary conditions uh, for scr to act as a switch so these are the few conditions this is the simple diagram which is the diagram showing on and off state this is the uh, way how the scr acts as a switch on and off this width on pulse width is t and combination of on and off pulse is t1 so quite simple if t is the width of on pulse and t1 is the width of on and off pulse then width of off pulse will be t1 minus t okay so these are few important uh, uh, conditions uh, so that if you follow these conditions then scr will work as a switch 
फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज एसीआर मस्ट बी फॉरवर्ड बैस्ट वेरी सिंपल लॉजिक देर आर थ्री टर्मिनल एनोड कैथोड एंड गे सो एनोड वोल्टेज मस्ट बी ग्रेटर दैन द कैथोड वोल्टेज दैट मीन एस सी आर मस्ट बी फॉरवर्ड बैस्ट सेकेंड टी दैट इज द विड ऑफ दिस पल्स must be greater than t on of scr t on period will be mentioned so width of this triggering pulse this is the triggering pulse ig this is the pulse representing the waveform corresponding to gate current which we are applying at the gate terminal so this width must be greater than the mentioned t on that is a uh, uh, time period t on time period of the scr third average gate power dissipation should be less than this n is less than should be less than instant in his gate power dissipation fourth adder to cathode voltage must be sufficiently large so that the scr can can change from forward blocking condition to the uh, forward conduction mode and again it can be switched off next gate triggering must be synchronized with ac supply so uh if there are variations in the ac supply in the same way the uh, there should be variations in the gate current and last ig that is the magnitude of gate current must be greater than the minimum required value of the gate current so these are the necessary conditions if you follow these conditions then the scr can be operated as a switch so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot